How we doing? Good. Again, no more. Same old, same old. Good practice, good solid day. Guys seem anxious and ready to go play. You don't have to be. Got a great team coming in. Uh, Miami's a really good team, playing well. Got all their cylinders clicking. We got to keep you know, grinding out and get better and better, and uh, hopefully we'll be ready to play. Questions? What were things that you were looking to see from the team this week, I guess, and did you see them? And what, what do you mean? Uh, same thing I look every week. Yeah. That's the same thing I see every week. Energy, execution, uh, juice, I mean, communication, uh, grit. Grinding through practice, doing all the little things, attention to detail, discipline. And for the most part, yes, at times you don't. That's, But if they did all the time, you wouldn't need coaches. Did, <laughs> did, did the win alleviate any kind of pressure? Did that change anything kind of going into no. practice with this week? I mean, win, it gives you a little confidence, but you got to line up and do it again. Were those uh, offensive linemen able to come back at all this week? Yeah, they practiced all week. Okay. They were all there. Are there any injuries, other injuries this week? Yeah, uh, Ryan Green's sick, and George, George will be questionable. George Campbell. Zach, going back to his old injury. Mm-hmm. So, uh, Auden is it just is it good, is Auden's injury something that's going to be with him all season? Yeah, will. I mean, it'll be banged and bruised. But he practiced Tuesday and practiced Wednesday. We give him some today off because he practiced. I mean, he went Tuesday and Wednesday just to give him a little bit of time off the rest. But there's no reason he should be ready. I mean, those are the hard days. Those are the grind days, physical days. So Auden had Monday and today off. He paid it a little bit Monday. Um, Roderick. Is, uh, yeah, he's, he should be ready to go. Did he like return to practice Monday? Was he? I can't. I can't even remember Monday. Today's Thursday. <laughs> he practiced. I know he practiced all week. <laughs> how's, how's Matthew Thomas been playing? I mean, his really numbers good. obviously are really impressive. Really thing. good. Really good. I mean, sees keys, triggers, athletic play in space, rush, cover. I mean, the best he's, he's not perfect, but I mean, he, he's playing really good. He's the best he's played since he's been. Yeah, and you know, part of it, he hadn't played for two years. It took about half a year to get clicked back in. And I say inside is a lot harder to get adjusted to than outside, because I said the multitude of things that happen. You know what I'm saying? And uh, because of, you know, it's a four-way traffic stop in there instead of two. And uh, so, and outside, you can just run and, and be on an edge. But you know, he's he's doing really nice. Derek Naughty second on the team in tackles. How impressive is it for a guy that's inside all the time to, to well, have those I mean, numbers? Good. Play, plays the run, can run, plays down the line of scrimmage. His lateral movement and his athleticism, boy, he's really, his flexibility has really increased in, in how he runs and takes care of his body. He's totally, even though he's strong, he's really changed the flexibility in his lower body as he's been here and runs and plays down the line of scrimmage. And I think this overall knowledge of the game, seeing and doing things. He's a heck of a player. Mark Walton's yards per carry average, is that skewed by some long runs or is he? Well, he's a dynamic guy, but I mean, he don't ever see many negative plays with him. I mean, he's so he's a strong bodied guy. You know what I'm saying? He's, I say he's not a tall, tall guy, but like Devontae and Dow, none of them guys are. A lot of your great backs aren't. But very strong and powerful, very quick. Can you know even and, and when you make the big plays, but you don't have many negative plays, man, it's it's really that really knocks it up there. You know what I'm saying? And he's so consistent and strong and very instinctive when he runs. Jim what was odd in being kind of sort of limited in George Campbell and not being able to Auden should be good. How are you guys, you know, as a receiver group as a whole, you know, Nooney, how are you guys going to try to get contributions from from what you have? Just what we do. Just call it and play. And uh, Some of the young guys are running. I'm really at DJ Matthews and Tamron. Them guys are really – they're going to be great players. And have really – last two or three weeks practiced well. So, you get those guys mixed in. Hopefully get the tight ends involved. And we got back, so we'll be fine. How some of those other receivers like Nudie and uh, Keith kind of looked yeah, just this a week. bunch. I've got put it this way, I've got plenty of reps. <laughs> now I've done a good job. I really have. Y'all good? We're good. Thank y'all. Thanks for being here.